Hi guys and girls, it's the Con Warrior. Okay, just detailing uh, a new setup. Well, it's not entirely new, but will be to uh, everyone in the FE community. This is a tricoiler that I've had for two, three years. I don't think I've ever uh, featured it before. Um, this setup was created to help basically build and profile the um, hardware and algorithms for the um, AMPCS and the ETBOG. Um, so we're, well, I'm going to be um, revamping it a bit to do a test for the best gen. Um, basically, it's going to be um, refitted with um, everything that we've worked on over the last two, three years, um, including variable drive geometries. Um, don't forget the feedback source, um, the full version. Um, basically, as you can see on here, old hack using M4 threaded rods. They'll be gotten rid of. These coils are non-Badini coils, uh, non-Badini spec coils, I should say. They are 25 gauge wire times two, uh, 1,200 turns, all three of them. They're all identical, as best as they could be made at the time. Simply enough setup, nice and free, even though the cores are in. If I get this right, I might be able to actually, there we go. There's the rotor. Again, old hack. It's just a uh, um, wooden disc with uh, um, magnets super glued to it and hot melt glued. Uh, magnets are 20 by 10 by 5 um, and 42s, I think. Uh, as you can see, same ones that are on the generator rotor that I had on it. This generation rotor uh, is basically made out of those protective discs that you get on spindles of CDs. So it's hollow in the centre. It's nice and light until you put the magnets on. Uh, it's one hell of a uh, flywheel. So that's going to get revamped. Um, bearings will need to be checked, etc. etc. Um, on this one, uh, Vespa's running the uh, feedback to uh, no Bedini Turbo Stage Four hardware drive hardware. On this one, I'm going to be running the Advanced Pulse Motor Control System, or should I say Advanced Motor Pulse Control System, uh, complete with full regenerative hardware. So the drive coils themselves will be turned into generators. The generator rotor will be replaced. Uh, we're going to be using um, the generation technology from the best gen. Um, this one, because of the way it's designed, uh, it'll have two rotors, one on each side, with four sets of magnets. So, we'll basically have, uh, sorry, with two sets of magnets and four sets of generator coils. So, basically, we will prove without a shadow of a doubt that, basically, our coils are lensless. Uh, there's no way that a small, gener uh, small drive system will be able to push enough current out of basically two pairs or four sets of generator coils. So this one's going to be fun. It's going to take a while to rebuild this. Um, this hardware here um, is just built with standard tools that pretty much most people will have rather than the vest gen which is precision cut and uh, basically put, done with, I think it's 
0.1 of a mil accuracy, maybe less, uh, using CNC technology. Um, this one yeah, will be done by using jigsaws, saws, uh, hand drills, um, and sort of general stuff that you'd have in your garage, as I said. So, take a look around it. Uh, one thing that I really should mention, as you can see there, did all the drawings for where stuff gets placed. <laughs> Some of you might find that amusing, but what can I say? I just uh, printed it out, stuck it to a piece of wood and cut it out. Simple. And it's, yes, it's rustic and archaic, whatever you want to call it. But it worked quite nicely. One of the technologies that's going to be used on this, uh, which will be the first time it's ever been featured, um, it's been touched upon on TEEP with the um, Angular Velocities 101 topic. I um, believe there's a video somewhere in my YouTube about it as well. Basically, we'll be creating a gear ratio between drive and generator without ever having any cogs. As you can see, the shaft, all the rotors are bolted to the shaft, or in this case, um, um, clamped to the shaft with nuts. Um, but because of how angular velocity works on rotors, uh, we have a jet. We have a diff. Get, oh God, I can't speak today. We have a difference in magnet velocities between the outside of the drive rotor and the outside of the generator rotor. So even though they're both spinning at the same RPM, the velocities are different. Basically, the ones on the generator will be travelling faster, relatively speaking, than the ones on the drive rotor. And that's all to do with the diameters of the uh, rotors themselves. So, on this one, we're going to be using that technology. its uh, I don't think anyone has ever quite featured it. Um, obviously, correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, what can I say? It's going to be a simple setup, tricoiler, obviously. Um, it's going to require a lot of work. But there you go. As always, um, feel free to leave comments. Um, feel free to visit us on Teep. Talk to you later.